Hello everyone and welcome to our BTS Pog plus streamer bot tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll showcase how to connect uh, BTS Pog uh, and um, streamer bot through world sockets in, uh, so that streamer bot can react and trigger actions the, whenever TTS starts and ends uh, on BTS Pog. Right? In this example, we're going to use in the actions that I shared on the file you can find below in this video and probably in our Discord server. And those, with those files, you will to see do something like this. Pog online poggers. TTS starts, Pogokun shows, TTS ends, and Pogokun will eventually hide out. Uh, the TTS end um, event takes a few seconds to trigger. It depends on the audio file and for BTS Pog to make sure everything is has stopped and nothing else is playing. So yeah. You may see a little bit of a delay there, depending on the TTS system. So uh, make sure to give it a, a, a few a few seconds uh, of patience for the pet to hide out. Basically, it depends a lot on the TTS system and what audio files we get from it. So just a heads up there. So how does this work? First of all, of course, we need a socket connection between BTS Pog and StreamerBot. Uh, in this case, we need to go to server clients, world socket clients and create a um, uh, socket connection to BTS Pog. Um, the URL is the one we uh, detail on our docs, which is um, WorldSocket WS uh, colon slash slash localhost uh, port uh, 3800 slash API. Hitting that, uh, StreamerBot will be able to connect to uh, BTS Pog. Just make sure you have auto connect on startup and reconnect on disconnect with a delay of like three seconds, five seconds, whatever you like, so that StreamerBot always will auto-connect to BTS Pog. That's super important. So, with that out of the way, let's go to actions. So, whenever a connection to BTS Pog uh, happens through WebSockets, BTS Pog uh, waits for that client to do a small handshake so that BTS Pog knows what events uh, it will send to that client. In this case, we want uh, to do this handshake here, which is our only publicly available uh, type of handshake that we have at the moment, which is uh, the client handshake. The handshake is already set up here. The only thing you need to uh, edit is the trigger event. It's a well socket client open event. A trigger, I mean, <laughs> and you need to make sure it's pointing to your BTS Pog connection. This here. In my case, I have the Binya connection and the BTS Pog connection, so I need to make sure it's pointing to the BTS Pog connection. In that other way, a uh, streamer bot will detect the connection is open, will trigger this handshake, BTS Pog will receive it, will register this client into the uh, client uh, list and it will start sending the corresponding events whenever they happen. In this case, the ones we want are the TTS start and TTS end events, right? So, how do this event work? I have two example, file, two example actions here. They are already set up. They are listening to well socket client message uh, trigger. Again, make sure it's pointing to your BTS pod connection. And there's an if here, which is already set up, to uh, listen to the TTS start event, which is this one. When that event happens, it calls, in this case, the show the pet show action. What's the pet show action? It's an action I set up here. Really simple action. It just go to OBS and it shows the pet. That's it. It's a set visible source. Make sure it's pointing, in your case, to your pet to your browser source, because if not, it's not going to work. So if we do a test here, I have added here a test action, test trigger, I mean, it will show the bet. Now the TTS end event. If we go to TTS end, we go again, trigger, both socket clear message, we double click, make sure it's pointing to the BTS pod connection. Again, super important. It's not like I made another recording or tutorial and I messed up because I forgot to click this and set it up properly. So make sure it's pointed to your right connection. <laughs> uh, with that uh, properly set up, 
in here we have the if checking for the uh, trigger uh, for the event i mean the sub dds event when it's detected it will call the pet hide action which is the one we can see here and oh and like the other one is just pointing to the browser source in obs and setting it to hidden so make sure in your case is pointing to your right source okay i will do a test here you will see like just doing that as simple as that that other way we can do a test and pog online poggers it will work make sure you have the socket in auto connect the handshake and the start and end events properly set up pointing to the right connection and then everything should work out again the sample files are here in the video below the video i'm probably in our discord server if not you can always ask me uh, for the files and i will probably share them no problem uh hopefully this all makes sense and yeah let me know if you need anything else and or if you want to do like any other more complex connection or something and you can see to, to do it thank you so much and have a nice day bye bye ending Boop.